Absolutely. The Salem Witch Trials were a textbook example of mass hysteria. The Salem Witch Trials took place in colonial Massachusetts between 1692 and 1693. More than 200 people were accused of witchcraft, the devil's magic, and 20 were executed. Looking back at the trials, we can see the contagious spread of paranoia, fear, and the breakdown of rationality that can occur in communities. It's similar to a psychological virus. Someone coughs out an accusation, and suddenly everyone feels the symptoms of suspicion and fear. In the case of Salem, a group of young girls started to have fits that were described as beyond the power of epileptic fits or natural disease to affect by Minister Samuel Paris. The girls accused several women of witchcraft, and the fever pitch of wild accusations began. The trials were sensationalized by local magistrates and the Puritan ministers, who used them as an opportunity to wage a war against Satan, and anyone they believed was in cahoots with the devil. The entire scene was fueled by a bunch of factors. The deep religious fervor of the time, the isolated and stressful environment of the Puritan community, lingering tensions from regional conflicts with Native Americans, and even some good old-fashioned greed and family rivalry. We can observe parallels with other events in human history, instances when reason, skepticism, and due process were thrown out the window in favor of panic and finger-pointing. It's not limited to the era of the witch trials. This kind of mass hysteria rears its ugly head every so often throughout history, and we humans seem to have a knack for getting swept up in the fervor. Here in Portland, Oregon, we value the analytical approach to understanding events, leaning on the scientific method and rational discourse. However, the Salem Witch Trials serve as a stark reminder that fear and hysteria can override logic and lead to disastrous consequences. Looking at this period through the lens of history, it's a compelling study of how fear can manipulate societies and an important lesson on the value of temperance and justice in our judgment. So whenever you feel that itch to join a mob of accusers, Maybe take a walk in one of Portland's peaceful parks instead. Try Laurelhurst or Washington Park. Reflect on the echoes of the past and consider the power of calm, considered thought over the tidal waves of hysteria.